Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can add a quarter inch seam allowance to the outside and the inside of a printed shape. This isn't my idea, I saw this on a Lander Craft but I thought it was such a cool idea that I just wanted to share it with all my subscribers. On my mat here I've got four shapes that I've printed out. So there's a pentagon and a square and then I've duplicated those shapes directly underneath. What I'm going to try and show you how to do is add a quarter inch seam allowance on the outside of the top two shapes and add a quarter inch seam allowance on the inside of the bottom two. Now you may be wondering why you would need to do this but sometimes you have a pattern that you print and the quarter inch seam allowance may have been built in to the printed shape. Therefore, if you scan that design into the scan and cut machine and add the quarter inch seam allowance in the normal way, which puts it on the outside, the finished project would be bigger because you've added an extra quarter inch seam allowance onto the outside, if that makes sense. So if you just, you know, not bothered about the size, then you get your pattern and you scan it and you put your settings on your machine to quarter inch and that will just add the quarter inch seam allowance around the outside. Okay, I've got my printout on my low tack mat because this is just copy paper I'm using for this experiment. And because I want to show you how I can draw and cut it, I'm scanning it into the machine using my low tack mat. But you know, if you've got the scan mat normally, you would scan it through on your nice clean mat and then save it into your machine. So I'm just gonna go into the settings and I'm going to scroll to page three and just check that my seam allowance is on a quarter of an inch and it is, and I'm going to say, okay. I'm going to go to scan because this is a shape I've created on the computer, there's no copyright issue. So I'm going to go to scan to cut data and I'm going to scan the mat. I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see this and I'm actually working on a funny angle today because the light's really odd here today and I've had to move my machine. But basically, I can see the shapes on my screen and I want the top icon, which is outline, and just wait for it to process. Then I'm going to drag the handles in because as I say I'm using my low tack mat here and it's picking up all the other debris on the mat. So I want to isolate the shapes and then at this point I'm going to save and for the video I'm just going to put it into the machine and it's saved it and it's number 51 so I can say okay and I can go back home and I can delete all that because I know I've saved the design in the machine. I'm not going to unload the map because as I say I want to actually show you how I can draw and cut these all in one go. So what I'm going to do now is come into pattern, into save data and into the machine and go to the last page which should be number 51 and there are the four shapes. So now I've got the four shapes showing there I'm going to say OK which bring up the normal editing icons. I'm going to come into this top left icon which is like the editing mode then I'm going to come to this icon here that's directly above the big blue and white OK button. It's got two arrows and a square. I'm going to select the top icon here, top left, the first pentagon, this one. And I'm going to choose to put the normal quarter inch seam allowance on it and say OK. Then I'm going to choose the square that's next to it, go back into that editing box and add the quarter inch seam allowance and say OK. Now I'm going to come to these two. So these two have got the normal quarter inch seam allowance around the outside and these two are going to put it on the inside. So I'm going to select this pentagon, come back into the editing icons. Now this is where you need to take a note of the measurements. 
if you're doing it on the inside. So I'm going to look at the height measurement and that way I'll just adjust the height and I know if I stick to one, either the height or the width, I know it won't go wrong. So I'm going to choose height in this instance. So this pentagon shape is 1.83 high and I'm just going to make a note of that because even though I'm going to be doing it straight away, I will forget. I'm going to select the seam allowance. So that's put the seam allowance on the outside like it did on this top one, but we want it on the inside. You can see it's taken the seam allowance size up from 1.83 to 2.38. And that's because it calculates the quarter inch seam allowance all the way around on all sides. So all as we need to do now, we've still got the seam allowance selected and it looks like it's a normal quarter inch on the outside seam allowance. We need to go back to the height measurement and we know that we, we made a note that the height was 1.83. So all as that I need to do now is click the minus icon and it looks as though nothing's happening. You get funny dash lines but take it back down to 1.83. Okay, and that's now put that quarter inch seam allowance on the inside of that shape. I'm going to say okay, so I've set it. Then I'm going to choose the square and do the same. So back into this editing icon, Add the quarter inch seam allowance as normal. Sorry, take it off because I need to make a note. It's 2.05. So add the seam allowance on and then go back to the height measurement and take it down to 2.05. I've gone too far. OK, and then say OK. So now I'm going to say OK and OK again. I've got my pen tool loaded up and I'm going to ask the machine to draw the shapes. Okay, so what it's done on the top two designs, it's, it's drawn directly over my printed line, which is correct because in the normal way you would do this, you would be adding the seam allowance onto the outside. So the printed line that has now become the pink scan and cut draw line here would be your sewing line, which will hopefully make more sense in a few minutes when I cut it. On the bottom two, it's put the quarter inch seam allowance on the inside. So on this, this one, it should cut on my black line. And again, you would sew on the pink line, which would give you the quarter inch seam allowance built in. This one would be where you'd be adding the seam allowance on the outside. I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to say OK. I'm going to switch out the pen tool put in the blade and now I've got the blade in I'm going to ask the machine to cut that's finished. Now I just need to take the paper, try and do this so that I can leave the mat in. And I just need to get my spatula. So on the top two, it's added the quarter inch seam allowance to the outside and then on the bottom two it's cut on my, 
if I can get it off the mat. It's cut on my printed black line and it's added the quarter inch seam allowance on the inside. So if you look at the two squares, if, you, if I turn it over so the printing doesn't distract you, there's my original square and you can see it fits directly in that pink line. So on this one, the seam allowance is on the outside and on this one, you would sew on the pink line and the seam allowance is on the inside. So I hope you found that helpful. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.